where we last left off. The three of you, captains of the Riptide Pirates, rushed into the stronghold known as the Promised Bastion. And you were trapped in the darkness and hunted by these grotesque, hollowed creatures with eerie intelligence and some nefarious purpose. Gillian survived only by his use, uses of Death Ward's magic, but had his DNA extracted into a doppelganger version that nearly killed Chip. Jay made it to the top floor of the stronghold, her grandmother's office, the Admiral, and found that it was filled with information and secrets. Somehow, somehow, you all managed to escape with your lives and your crew and a empty version of Doppelgilly heading out to the sea with the dark knowledge that is unknown to the rest of the world waiting to be learned. And so the journey continues. You infiltrated, though I might have forgotten to describe it. You guys were at the stronghold at nighttime. Do, can we even tell, though, like what time of day? Yeah, 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 because it at is? nighttime it's almost pitch black in the Black Sea. So as you get further and further away from the stronghold where there was the, the glow from the arcane cannons and, and, and stuff like that, it just gets darker and darker all around you besides the lights you have on the ship. But I'd say your guys are at least a few hours away. Like, you have traveled a few hours now. At least it feels like it. And the stronghold is no longer in sight. Uh, everybody has been taking this uh, a moment now to just stop paddling the ship in a direction and actually reconvene with the captains and, and discuss whatever you guys need to before heading to long rest and continuing the travel the next day. Doppelgillian, keep those oars moving. You see, he's just like lying away. Like <laughs> he's just like, the side, he's like face, <laughs> face down on the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's like weird because it's still breathing, but it's totally not alive. So it goes... <sighs> Can't really look at it for more than one second before having an existential crisis. You know the Golden Freddy that's like sitting down and it's like- Yes, it's I like love Golden Freddy! <laughs> <laughs> that's what Doppelgilly looks like. He's just sitting there slumped with the head tilted. Chip is sitting in front of, of Doppelgilly, staring into the eyes. No, no eye, no light in the eyes. Staring at absolutely nothing. There's no light, there's no color in the eyes anymore. <sighs> He's just like looking through me. I'm surprised it remembers how to like breathe. I mean, that is some freaky magic. I'm I'm like a little bit uncomfortable with the situation. Like, should we throw him overboard? No. Hang on. Let's just kind of test and see how smart he is. Is he breathing through his nose or mouth right now? <sighs> mouth. Mouth breathe. Mouth breathing. Mouth breathing. Guys, let's just be totally honest. Okay. We know it's so. It's like so heavy. Mouth breathing. His jaw is slacked open. I put my hand over his mouth to see if he breathes through his nose. Gosh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're blocking the air. I take it off. I take it off. I put my hand over my mouth to try and figure out what like Chip is doing, and then my face starts to get red. Basic, <laughs> basic human instinct. You know, if something's hot. You pull yourself away from it. Use burning hands on him. See what happens. Okay, okay, okay. I uh, I use control flames. I'll bring I'll bring like a little flame over to towards him, like towards his eyes, to his pupils. Do like dilate. Uh, as I have described, there is no color. There's nothing. It's just like almost pure black now, uh, where his eyes are. Oh my god. Do we still have any drugs? What do you think would happen if he did drugs? <laughs> Igneous shouts. Uh, is one of you gonna fucking explain what happened in there? Oh. <laughs> So much fucked up stuff. Sorry, Igneous. No. <laughs> so <is> he, was, <laughs> he actually just walks away for a second. I'll get up and go catch up with catch up with Igneous. Me too. Me too. Maybe everybody kind of come gather. Everyone, yeah, everyone gathers. Hey, everybody. So, uh, how about that? How about that spot, huh? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Hey, one second. No man left behind. I look over. He's just lying there. <laughs> Golden Freddy in the corner. I go get double Killian. Continue, Chip. Sorry. Uh, yeah, crazy, uh, crazy spot we were in. But we made it out. Yeah. I know everybody's got a question. I look over at Doppelgilly. <laughs> Am I okay? And the answer is yes. Nobody was gonna ask that. Dude, hurtful. Okay, yeah, so there is another Gillian. He is, uh... My brother. Is his brother? No. Well, now he is. Now he is. He's not exactly. I, I go s snap in front of his face. Not exactly there. I mean, he drew some cards from the forbidden deck. You know. Um, yeah, we saw. We were there. We saw. How, but, hey, what can I? What can I say? <laughs> it runs in the runs in the family. Just to like reiterate, you know, just in case anybody ever feels like drawing some more cards, 
Maybe don't do that. <laughs> yeah, just. I look at Jay. You'll draw one. No. I know you will. Why would I do that ever? Just wait. <laughs> okay. Foreshadowing. Jay, the moment will <laughs> creep up, will creep up on you when you least expect it, and you know there will be no other choice. Happens to all of us. Happens to all of us. We went in there looking for some stuff, and uh, I think we, we got, got what we were looking for. Got all Look of it. Jay. Um, yeah, just a bunch of things and stuff, some tubes and like some tablets, some tablets and some uh, some tubes and some papers and some things, and also a really crazy. I haven't actually looked at it yet. You know, we've just been kind of like standing here, staring off into space the last few hours. Um, well, you all seem quite chipper for 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 some that almost we almost fucking died. Oh no, this was this was a terrible mistake, and I almost killed all my friends. And honestly, I'm not gonna sleep well tonight. We're big chipper. <laughs> <laughs> what? I give Chip a little fist bump. I look at him like wide eyes. I fist bump him. Did I actually die and go to heaven? Maybe. Honestly, I don't. I don't feel like we should be alive right now. So yeah. Earl, what's the name of this boat? Uh, fucking Earl's big. Magnificent. Never mind. Never mind. Boy. Still here. Still here. <laughs> why, would, why would you ask him? Still here. Anyway, um, yeah, you you should see. I've handed out, uh, handed out a little debrief on everything that happened in there. But Jay Jay has also found um, all all sorts of what I assume is bad bad stuff. Oh, terrible it, stuff. Absolutely awful. Um, do you want to just like? I'd love if you just laid it down, cause like. I mean, I'm down to just do it. But Jay, this is like your family history. I know there's a lot there, so I completely understand and you said it before but like i was almost dead and i'm still a little almost dead so i didn't process it then might process it now yeah i literally didn't have skin in the game yeah no you had no skin yeah actually that no was no skin so i only really listened to to a conch show that my grandma had left behind uh and it said something like uh, plan going going pretty okay um tests in the in the sea are, are good uh pray praise solar mother uh Something, something about somebody coming and warning of what to, what's to come. Uh, oh, oh, the black sea, the black sea is going to spread to the rest of the world um, soon. Yeah, uh, and also they're making uh, uh, DNA, DNA, perfect DNA replica clones of people, and that's why uh, Doppelgilly. That's impossible. So that no, yeah. no. Where do you think Doppelgilly came from? I mean, bruh. <sighs> Uh. <laughs> and apparently, yeah, they've just been replacing like regular ass people with like super soldier black ops goo guys. So that's that's like the gist of it. And also, she said that the world will be at her mercy, which is also cool. Yeah, that's all bad. Do, do you know how much time we have before it all spreads? No, but I'm hoping maybe these tubes and or ancient tablets might have have some clues to that. Just need to. Look into them a little bit. Did it say something about Kuba Kinta? You said something was there, right? Oh, yeah. He was in the basement. Wait, he was... Was he, like, locked up? Was he... In a place, like, in the spot in the basement? No, no. He was in the cage in the basement. Oh, the room in the house in the cage in the place that we were... It was, yeah, where... room... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was in the bunker in the bottom in the cage in the basement. I'm just gonna, like, be honest here. I think we gotta, like, steer clear of him by, like, uh, at least couple hundred miles because like I'm trying to go no contact after no last yeah time. I mean like you know you two have had your time and I, I feel like my time's coming now and I don't really want to go through another I don't want a time I don't want any of that you've time. already had that no. time you, you I, I mean, did you, yeah you got With Kuba Kenta? scratched yeah you got scratched oh my god how did you forget how many terrible things must have happened to you <laughs> <laughs> are you okay like do you need I just like look off we have money we can like afford a therapist if you all right all right all right all right all right all right <laughs> look look Igneous says, All right, before you go into more stuff that you found, etc., <laughs> and, 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 and they devolve into another tangent. Yeah, we do that. We don't do that. I'm starting to see a pattern here that most of your direction is on a whim, and there is no plan ahead of time. I don't mean to like pull rank on you, dog. Like, you're my home, you're my bro. <laughs> no, I'm not trying, I'm not trying um, to tell you how to live. But like you just like showed up like thirty minutes ago. Oh, so you want to be captain? You you want to be captain? You want to be captain so bad? Within the twenty four hours of me joining your crew, we were nearly overwhelmed and all of us killed before you got back to the ship. You know what, Igneous? We have a saying on this ship. <laughs> Way she goes. Way she goes. It is what it is. Look, all I'm saying is maybe let fill me in on where we're heading next, so we could possibly consider some sort of strategy. You no, know, I I I get it. I get it. Right and. I'm sorry for putting you in that situation. We should have. All right, I signed up for this. 
it, whether it was a mistake or not. We'll see. Well, I mean, I, I, I'll be honest. I thought that place was going to be abandoned and empty, but no. I also thought it was going to be abandoned. Um, yeah. um, very wrong. I didn't think. Don't change, yeah. dude. <laughs> right now we're headed to a big hole in the ocean. So Gilly, you see Gillian all of a sudden shudders when you say hole for some reason. All right, and you're sure the hole is there. Am I... Am I sure? No, but, I mean, it's the best lead we've got. How much do you know of where we're going? Ooh, I'm not really good with, like, retaining information, like, on the spot. Like, it's like, I know it, but then when you oh, ask no. me, it's like a cockroach. <laughs> when you, like, shine a light on it, it runs away. But that's, like, my brain. I pull out a little light, I think about it. I know Arlen's down there. He's the guy who raised me. Down where? Or I'd point down below the ocean. Down there. Did you see anything down there, or do you just know that he's... Down there. I didn't... I didn't go. I wasn't down there. You sure? Like 100%? Okay, there's a lot of, like, background I gotta give you. There's a guy named Niklaus Hendricks. He was a pirate lord. Um, he kind of just, like, floats around us and messes with us, and he wants something. He wants us to go down there, and he told me that Arlen was down there. I believed him completely and made a deal, and now I'm saying it out loud, and you're asking me if I believe that he's down there? And I'm having a real-time epiphany that he could be lying. Well, hopefully not. I mean... And that's like the whole reason we came here. <laughs> All right, well, let's sit on that thought sausage and chew on it for a minute. Is that making the rounds? Where did you hear that? That's that's really good. I might have to. <laughs> we might have to consider you for the rank of captain after all. Wait, G Gillian. I guess there can only be three of us, so really it's just a matter of <laughs> which to stay. Well, yep. Yeah, I mean, popularity contest. I, I feel like it's open mm -hmm. shut case. Um, I guess so, but we could really use sayings like that. We, need, we needed a tagline guy, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> all right. I don't know what you've been through, right? We just met, but... I'm going to take that knowledge, I'm going to go sit in the quarters, I'm going to think on it for a minute, try to come up with something. Okay. Uh, we'll figure maybe, this out. We'll figure maybe, this out. Maybe we should all figure this out as well. You know, as like, the captain is like leading people like down to the hole in the sea where we don't actually know like what's down there and we might die. Good talk, team! Uh, wait, 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 Griffin. What else did you find down your tablets? Yeah, no, I got uh, two tubes. And two tablets. Yeah, I mean, I just haven't had a chance to look yet. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, I was gonna go do that right after we, like, you know, huddled up, did our little thing, like, oh. hands in, and, you know, just go you, read like, for keep a bit. It to yourself, or? No, no, we can all read it. We absolutely we can all read it. Why wouldn't we all read it? I'm going to use Inspiring Leader to give everybody 16 temp HP. You, I gotta hear, no, I gotta hear at least and, two seconds of the speech. I just, wouldn't know so bad. Yeah, there's gotta be two sentences. I mean, we've been talking, <laughs> going over stuff. It hasn't been. Very, very confident. Um, but at, at the end, I'll just kind of say, no matter where we go, you're all with us. And I I thank you all for that. Wouldn't have made it this far without you. Hell, even just where we came from, we wouldn't have had a ship without you. This crew only functions with everyone. If we go down, we go down together. As pirates. It's the most inspiring thing I've ever heard. Doppelgilly is drooling all over the deck. We need to do something about that. There's a lot of spit. Like, you see there's a slight spark in Doppelgilly's eyes. He gained 16 temp HP. <laughs> <laughs> Did he cast create water or is that all drool? I think it's all drool. Um, um, I think that's the ambient <laughs> ambient create water I've usually got okay, running well, at all times. Anyways, uh, anybody who wants to read the stuff, I'll be in the captain's court, wherever you have a table. I don't know. You have a table down in your uh, below the deck where you guys sleep and then the captain's quarters has been made the crew's quarters. Just wherever there's like a big table, I'll be there with. That's so cool. We're good captains. We're good at captains. We're great captains. We're so good. We're so good at captaining. Yes, us. Yeah, there's tables. Uh, yeah, anywhere you want to go. Um, and if you want to bring people to read stuff, go for it. Uh, what do you want to look at first? And whenever she says something important, I take a knife and like stab it into the thing on the table. <laughs> no. Don't do that. What? <laughs> I want to look at the two tablets first, I think. I'm assuming you put the tablets, you were carrying them, and if you put them on the table and you start to look at them, uh, Chip, immediately you recognize that these runes that have been kind of carved into these tablets are celestial. However, they are not unscrambling for you, but you recognize them. Jay, when you look at these two tablets, immediately to you they begin to glow and they're very they're like a, a golden stone almost and these runes in your eyes uh you feel that 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 golden eye on on one of the sides of your face begin to sort of uh not burn with pain but 
a warmth is felt behind as it begins to translate itself for you. Oh, thank God. I don't know how to read this. The first tablet, you read this. Shards of the Divine. These words are for you, and you alone. We are descendants of the sun. Thus, we are the light. The beacon that will eradicate the dark. We are the flame to which all will yield. We are the shining justice that will always prevail. Our steps illuminate the way forward, and our hands spark the tales of history. Then you immediately look over to the second tablet. Uh -huh. It begins the same way. Shards of the Divine, these words are for you and for you alone. Know your kin, recognized by the manes of flickering flame, wings that rival dragons, the golden suns in our eyes. Unity is the key to prosperity. Our elders will raise generations that burn with vigorous radiance. And that's what these two tablets say. And they are most definitely archaic. Like old, old, okay. Never seen this before. And just reading them is almost like absorbing knowledge written by the hand of a god. The pin of a celestial. So you pick the craziest thing to read first, hits you like a fucking... <sighs> um, and you can choose to tell them what you read or not. You guys should see Jay focus as her eye illuminates with this golden glow. Uh, and they begin to widen as she reads, I assume. That's the coolest shit ever. You better, dude. But I respect <laughs> it if you're just like, anyway. Yeah, I can't read this guy. <laughs> Whoa, Chip, that looks like earth-shattering stuff. Yeah, uh, Chip, you feel like you should be able to read this, but you can't. I'm like staring at it. I have the same exact expression as Doppelgilly. What does it say? It's celestial, right? Yeah, um... Well, I'm asking... Well, because Chip can... can... <sighs> No, but I, I, I can read it, actually, which is weird, because I can't read Celestial. It says these words are for me alone, though, so I'm, like, worried that maybe if I say them out loud, I might, like, get smited by the gods, because, I mean, like, this is... Not unless you want me to. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> I recite it all. So she just reads line for line. Whoa. I really fucked up my back. Dude, that, <laughs> I really know, hurts. those were powerful fucking words. I think it fucked up me, too. Like, my, my hip. It feels like that tablet just, like, kick me in the right side of my back. Why Why would it do that to you? Why would I don't it... know. I don't know. For me, it's the left. Like, something just pulled. Yeah, I, I, I tuned out after Shards of the Divine, like, these are for you alone, because I felt like I shouldn't be hearing oh. it. Yeah, I mean... But that sounds crazy. Could you possibly say it in cheapo terms? Um... One second. Let me, like, parse. <laughs> Sorry, I've used most of my brain power, Jay. I'm not gonna lie. If you could, like... Dumb it down for me, that would be the greatest thing you could do. Jay, if you still got space, can you do it in Gilly Willy too? <laughs> what is what is Gilly Willy? What is what is that tail? I do it just more whimsical. I okay, I I say it the exact same way. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> for you, Chip, um, I don't know, I mean, kind of piece this together, but I think it's about maybe my my family. Um, because my eyes interacting with this in a weird way. I mean Dre, you want to chime in on this? Dre and Finn are still in the library. Oh, Dre. Oh, do you, do you want me to go get... This feels like somebody with, like, history, family history, maybe, that could be helpful. I don't know anything. I'll go get Dre for, uh, for, for Jay. Uh, Dre comes back within a few moments and with Killian. Yeah! Uh, how'd it go? Um, well, I stole a bunch uh, of stuff from my grandma. This better be important. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, and this, this reads kind of like a... I don't know. I don't want to say prophecy, but like <gasps> you'd be stealing his swag if you said prophecy. You cannot do that. No, come on, say it. Come on, say prophecy. I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, what's well, the deal? It's it's not. I, I, it's not quite though. Like it's not like it's prophesizing something. It's just. It's like it's just. I think the, what's the opposite of prophecy? But it's in the past. History. History. It's historizing. <gasps> Is that why it's called prophecy? Oh my god! It's like a prophecy, except like multiple people get it, and it's not like one person bearing like the entire weight of it and everything like that. And like it doesn't really say anything specific besides that like our steps illuminate the way forward, and spark tales of history, and it just says some really awesome kind of. I think I don't know, Dre. Any any input? Can you read this? Uh, Dre steps over to the table, uh, and at the same time, Ignis actually pulls his sword, uh, you know, the giant six foot sword off his back, and then holds it next to him. He goes, uh, "I thought I recognized the stone." It's the same as my sword. Oh. Old as fuck then. And he puts it back. This sword has been passed from my father to his father to his father for 
as long as we've been able to ride the log. What kind of material is that? As far as I'm concerned, it's in a, some sort of amberite carved from a very, very old, almost like frozen lava. So from a volcano. Or crystallized lava. Yeah, that's honestly, that's why I mentioned that I wanted to see, uh, yeah. I wanted to find that volcano and just see where it came from. But uh, Makes sense. Didn't think the details were important. Trey, after a moment, goes, I don't know. Uh, when did you ask, Jay? It just feels like it has some sort of like, I don't know, it means something to our family, maybe. And we're looking to get it in like Chibo terms. And we're looking for like really stupid, like. <laughs> well, you could put it in a nicer <laughs> way, but yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it lines up with some of the shit that our mom tried to beat into us, you know? Our ideals and moral, some greater purpose. Blah, 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 blah. You don't care about that shit. Yeah, I'm pretty boring. I get it now. I don't know, the second one I just read and I can't help but picture my father. Well, you got wings, right? Yeah, but they're not like... And, and like the the eye thing? I don't really... Do I have like a mane that's flickering flame? I don't I don't think I have that. Dude, I pull her hair. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Shrug. What? It's not like flame, though. It's hair, it's hair, it's, it's hair. Gillian, Gillian, what color is this? I pulled her hair. Hair. I mean, can I mean, pull, um... <laughs> red. It's red. A pull tube. <laughs> Are you moving on? Is yes, that, is yeah, that I'm gonna move on from Sorry. the, uh, from the yeah. tablets for now. Yeah, I wrote for it. Dre, he just looks... He's kind of at a loss on what, uh... How to explain this. He, he can't. He can't really explain it. He just, like... That's fine. Um, he almost kind of looks, like, upset about it. You know Dre doesn't have orange hair or... And stuff like that. Like, he definitely sticks out amongst the family. Well, if that's all, uh, let me know if you need anything else. Fun is in library and we'll talk. Yeah. I'm trying to keep Finn company. For sure. Thank you, Dre. Did you get axolotled yet? <laughs> I'm one of the original axolotls. Yo! Did your axolotl, like, go mad over long periods of time? No. Being stuck in there forever? Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I was really worried about my my separate consciousness. Maybe in that's there. something I need to examine about myself, then. If anything, this is how we're going to live forever. Inside this magical little library as fish. What a haunting thing to say. Don't you think we'd go, like, a little crazy? Like, stuck in there for all eternity? There's enough books to maybe, like, prevent craziness. Eternity is a long time. Okay, okay, so you pull out a schematic or blueprint or some sort of design sheet. Uh, and it is clearly for the artificial leviathan. Oh god. Holy shit. Ooh, uh, go ooh, ahead and just roll. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> I say. Uh, anyways, uh, go ahead and roll an intelligence check, Jay. Just a straight intelligence. Uh, just say it. Just say it. Anybody want to try to help Jay with this? I mean, I'm gonna be like, oh, I know what that is, and then stare at it. I have pretty good intelligence, I hope. Uh, you would be giving Jay advantage, that's what I mean by help. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, sure. Can it be her destiny? Can it be police her destiny? Yes. Oh my god, yeah, this is great. Uh, it's like, okay, plus the d4, please god. A d4. 14, that's better, it's still better. I'll say you get, with a 14, you get the main function of the artificial leviathan. And brace yourself. Can you please read it out loud dramatically at the same time the DM is saying it so I can react, Jay? The all-new artificial leviathan is bigger and better than any leviathan you've ever seen. <laughs> 50 anchors. 25 fucking lasers. 60,000 teeth. And the towing power of 100 level 20 barbarians. Come take a ride on the wild side. <laughs> Powered by gas. With all new fossil fuels, we can go farther and burn hotter than ever before. I'm just DMing it. I'm, I'm DMing it to Condi, right? Now. The all new artificial device. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're kidding. I believed you immediately. I really thought it was. I really thought it was. Finally, you too can cure the Black Sea. Wait, real? Yeah, that's real. Wait, is this real in there? Yeah, no, like actually, and that's what it says. It, it just like it says, cure the cure the black sea. Yeah. What what a way to present it. Wait, what? What? Yeah. That's that's that that's incredible. It's like a good thing, though, right? Like, but like also conflicting, but also well, incredible. yeah. But I mean, artificial leviathans are still it, it's still a freak of nature that shouldn't exist. So like, really? should not be destroying it? Like, I, I don't really understand how it works. Like, this is just I nonsense. Mean, I, just, I mean, I, I, but, um, I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't. It's but it very not clearly, right. like, says right here, artificial leviathan cure the black. Sea and exclamation mark. And that's mark. great. That's <laughs> great. And like, I pr that's cool, but it's just like a bastardization of like all life. Yeah. So, so like, like, well, like, would it be okay if they didn't call it Leviathan, maybe? Like, like a rebrand? Yeah. They like rebranded it. Would it make it better? What do Leviathans do? And like, I don't know. Why is this, why is this considered? I, mean, I one? do know, but 
You do? Bro, don't even get me started. I thought they were just like really big, like almost gods of the sea. Dude, get started. I have no idea. Dude, I'll get started, man. Here, I actually I actually have some bones with me if you want to come and-, and uh... Really? Where'd you get those? <laughs> <laughs> Leviathans are like, to my people, gods. Maybe not to the degree of the, of the moon goddess or the, or the sun goddess, but they are essentially the highest form of life and the top of the food chain. They are the creatures that have been here for millennia and will be here for millennia after when we are dust and our ancestors pray to them. They make the tides churn. So like a big bitch, so like a real big. It's a big, it's a real big bitch, yeah. Huge bitch. Um, and there are many, but this would be like, this would be like if someone under the water created some sort of mechanical god based on one of your deities, which I feel like would be. That'd be cool. That'd be really awesome. Our fish god. I think that god. was awesome. Yeah, that'd be cool as hell. Actually, it does sound kind of cool. Doesn't it sound cool? <laughs> Fuck, Galeon, the fuck. I mean, it's super disrespectful in the Leviathan case, but... Yeah, it, it's it's the way things have, have been, and it's the way that... I guess it's the way that, that mana made things so that we stayed in balance with the rest of the world and with nature. And it's important to know where, where you fall and the creatures in your world that keep it moving. If they're creating an artificial Leviathan... That means they're creating something to rival the strength of a Leviathan. Which means they would have the power to shape things that no one should be able to shape. Um, yeah, I mean, again, I don't think while well, curing the Black Seas is good, but um, I don't think that their intentions are a lot pure considering... What was her exact, exact wording? I'm sorry. Uh, soon the world will be at the mercy of my justice, is what my grandmother said on the recording. What a chill way to, like... Yeah, what a chill way to just like have an iron fist, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I've tossed that. I've I've tossed that out in a heated moment. Griffin puts his finger on the blueprint and sort of points to these different um, uh, sections that have. It's almost like a, a graph. I'm trying to think of. It's where there's like a line and a circle that kind of zooms in on a specific part of the design. Oh, like a cr like a cross section or like one of those. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. A di like that kind of part. That part of a diagram. And uh, Griffin points at a few of them and goes, Jay. Yeah. Can you tell what that is? What these are? I can just tell that they're consistent. Like they're the same. I mean, they look like... Like cores. Um, maybe the power... I mean, it's a big creature, so... It, I was it's just gotta gonna say, what would power something that big? You know, like... And there's multiple of them. How big is this thing? You saw Dugon, and you really you remember just how colossal that titan of the undersea was. This thing is like... It's indescribable and in, in, in it's, it's like actually Godzilla. Yeah, like it's <laughs> it, it, it's a huge fucking thing. Uh, they had to they would have had to build this in, in many different parts in many different places in the world. Like um, it, there's no way it would. And then and then and the biggest place for them to build something like this is under the water. So there's multiple cores. They couldn't have built this in one place. Maybe they were building these at each of the raft headquarters. There's six cores. Uh, where's the map? Map, 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 map. I think there's one in each, one in each sea, one in all port. Is there one in the undersea? No, I wouldn't know. Is there how many, Jay, how many, like, family members with the red hair you got? Uh, it goes through two hands. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Oh, dude, I so thought it was a Megazord for a second. Well, I'm kind of thinking it might be. It might be a Megazord. Well, the only reason I say that is because it said in the other thing that unity is the key to prosperity. And what if it's going to take a lot of power to power these things? Your family's real powerful. I don't know if it's powerful in that way. I could be wrong. I'm only talking in Chibo terms. That just could have meant that there's power in numbers, Law. Oh, facts. Yeah, I, I agree with Queen. I, I also don't know if... I mean, That's kind of what I preach with us. We're stronger together. I'm just saying, I, <laughs> like, what if they need a bunch of ferrons to power it? But like, maybe yeah, not. but that, that would be weird. Like, like, are we sacrificing okay, like, life energy? I thought, I thought this was like a safe place to like share our thoughts. Or like, I don't call your ideas weird though. Like, I don't do that to you. Are we just like piloting different parts of the giant robot that then assemble into a bigger, gianter robot? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't know how it all works. Oh no, big chibo. What? 
When you were in that facility back there, you said you saw the bones of a leviathan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did it look like they had done? Can I re- recall such a thing? Could I think back to what I saw and... Roll intelligence. I'm intelligent. I got a two. Can I give him adv- Can I help him with this? Well, Jay, could help- Jay saw it too. Oh, Jay saw it. Yeah, I guess I didn't see it. If I saw it. Can I help? Jay never went into that room. Oh, no, you did. Okay, yeah, you can help. That was a natural one. Oh my god, we are we are the same person. Um, you think back, you remember the bones of the Leviathan, but it was so dark and it was so stressful, Gillian, it just disappeared. It's hard to remember what you saw information-wise, what they were studying, but there were samples, uh, there were bones, and it's hard to remember what they were studying. Yeah, I don't know. Does this Leviathan, I mean, like, it's kind of just shapes right now, but does it look like any ones that exist and also do the cores like look like anything in particular have you even met all the leviathans as gillian no but i would have seen like almost like uh like tribalistic depictions i feel like of like what they look like go ahead and roll a history i enter my mind palace and think back to the regular palace and (laughs) i roll history because it's my destiny to remember this and I got a six, and I roll a d4, and I got a one, <laughs> seven. Um, these cores look like machinery that uh, Gillian can't like recognize or anything like that, if that's what you're trying to... But you start to think, uh, you think about the... Yeah, my crazy leap in logic was that they were like using real Leviathan hearts or something, like... You try to, re- yeah, you try to remember because you know that there's six Leviathans, and you're trying to remember what they looked like... And the only one that really comes to mind is uh, Pelagus, who you saw underneath the water recently, uh, the sea dragon. Just with that, this artificial leviathan doesn't look like any that you can remember. No, they're making a... This, this is new. This is not like anything I've seen before. Maybe for IP reasons. They had bones of a leviathan in there. Does that mean they killed one? I don't know. How else you get bones? I shudder to imagine. I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any way to contact home? Um, well, they, they kind of made sure of that. Um, I, unless I'm forgetting something, I definitely don't, right? Other than contacting Eden, though. No. Even her, I don't think we have a way. You could always contact Eden. I, didn't I smash her, like, contact? We haven't seen her since. Then I suppose you don't have any way. Do we know anyone who would have her number? I don't know. Do we? No. Dude, if I had that number, we'd be having a different conversation right now. All right, all right. That's fair. That's and fair. it wouldn't be with you. One thing's for sure. Things are moving while we're stuck here in the Black Sea. It's fucked. That's that's what's for sure, yeah. Mm, much to think about. A lot on my mind and in it. <laughs> there's another tube, right? It's, no, no, there's only tube. one. There's only one. Oh. The last thing you got was a stack of papers and a book. So probably just look through that. This looks to be two things papers and folders and stuff of uh, military strategy and planning as well as supply lines if ever needed as well as a long book and in this long book jay you come from a division of soldiers that were purposely put to infiltrate pirate crews especially the new and upcoming ones this is totally separate from the sort of black ops uh situation that you learned about in the stronghold Uh And you, in this book, can tell that there is a plant on Lizzie's crew. What? What the fuck? Caspian. That means Lizzie planning to attack the Solstice stronghold is 100% expected. Shit. Fuck. What shit? shit? Why shit? Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. We've Why called, fuck? We've Why called, shit? How many people have we called today? We've called three. We've called too many people. We can't call anymore, right? Why? 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 I'm um, Chip. Oh, God. Um, You're Chip? I put the book in your face. Caspian didn't pick up, and I think Enzo was the day before. Okay. Well, if we have a call. So we have um, we have a call. Let's call Caspian. Surely he'll know what's no, going no, on. No, 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 Your names undercover are well coded. Yeah, would Jay have no- Jay, did you go to the academy with any of these people? Like, no. is there anything here you recognize? Not at all. I got put in last moment. It's very well organized in a sense where... When you're undercover, you won't be able to know who else is undercover. Does that make sense? All of these individuals were approached as individuals, and Jay actually uh, approached the Admiral as an individual. I think she said that before. Who on Lizzie's crew is totally a cop? What if it's Lizzie? No, no it's not sense. Lizzie. She's been waiting, leaning way too hard into the pirate thing. Lizzie's gonna die if we don't do something. Clearly overcompensating. Well, they didn't answer our call last time we called, so maybe something's already happened. Well, we've got a call, and we've got- We got one call. Their numbers. 
Lizzie makes the most sense, right? Let's call her. Bring, bring. Is there anything like I can glean from the logbook as it's ringing? Early on in this logbook, there's something written by the Admiral about this like divine messenger that has brought her almost like uh, visions of the future of like things that are going to happen and where people are going to be. I swear to fuck if it's Niklaus. Oh my God. I hate it here. Niklaus bitch ass. Niklaus bitch ass fuck dicks. There's another excerpt. Uh, if that's right, where there's like a statement in this long book that uh, mentions your father by name and something about his treatment. <laughs> got so much to unpack, man. Good there's luck. There's a lot to unpack. And also her son is, she said also that her son is stable. Oh, shit. Okay. Ringing, ringing. Answer. Ringing, 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 ringing. Hello. Hello. Who's calling? Who's calling? I call. I call. With your cone shell, make an arcana check. Oh, fuck you! Dude, it was on a natural 20 and it rolled over. <laughs> oh. It's a two, it's a four total. We're rolling so shit today and we haven't rolled over a 10. Your uh, cone shell doesn't work. We still have one more, right? We still have one more call? We do, I do. Try that one. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Who here? Who here knows how to use a phone the best? I know how to use a phone. You could do the calling. I just want to do the talking. Okay, you can talk. Yeah, just like... Beep, 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 beep. Uh, remember, you guys only connected the Caspian and John. Okay, okay, we need to. Okay, <laughs> I take everyone up to the crow's nest so we can get the best signal, and we hold it up in the air, and I cast. Who am I calling? Who am I calling? John. Am I calling Caspian or John? Who is the least likely to be a cop? Wait, <laughs> call John from Gillian's phone. John is a cop. He was. He's the most likely to be a cop. <laughs> Jay told us she was a cop. Eighteen. Uh, if it's my destiny, I get twenty-one. Uh, it wasn't my destiny. I forget if you said it was. Yeah, it was. I did. Okay, twenty-one. There's no way it's Caspian. He's so chill. He gave me this sword. I gave him a birthday present. We got drunk. We learned spells together. And now I will see if they pick up. I think it's Caspian. Wait, who else is on that crew? No, who else is on that crew? There's more people. That's like the, the three, right? Like, is there more now? I forget. Oh, God. I'm a terrible friend. Oh, God. Okay, it begins to sort of ring within the shell. All of you here. Gillian! <laughs> And it's so late at night, but he... Gillian! <laughs> oh, it's so good to hear your voice. I forget what we called about. How are you? It's breaking up a little bit. Uh, Gil! I just woke up! I saw... I, I felt the, the connection! I'm good! <laughs> I felt it too! I knew you would be there to pick up! Hey, we just learned the craziest shit! No, 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 no! I'll admit, I didn't wake up because I was sleeping. Woke up because I was drunk and passed out. Gil, we're having the craziest party. You gotta come out right now. Dude, John, we would, but we're in the Black Sea, man. We just raided a Navy base. Oh, John. <laughs> what was that? Oh, more shots. You got more hell. Yeah. I, I, I cover your mouth. I cover your mouth. I cover the phone. Gillian, fucking get him to get to Lizzie. Who's on that crew of yours nowadays? John Gillian! <laughs> yeah, I take the phone, I take the phone. I take the fucking phone, you fucking dumbass. All of you can hear, because uh, it's so loud, and there's so much background noise as well. You can hear, like, music being played, people shouting, people cheering. Something is clearly going on behind them. There's a lot of people wherever John is right now. Don't accept any drinks, John! You don't know who you know! I covered, <laughs> I, the phone is covered. Gillian is not talking to him anymore. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm trying to warn my friend! Did they take your brain and your skin? <laughs> <laughs> Stop being stupid! Girl, you there? I uncover it. Please. Lizzie. Lizzie. That's it. No more. Lizzie. My, uh, my captain? We suck as pirates. <laughs> <laughs> We're such bad pirates. I just look, I look at Chip like, yeah. Ask to talk to her. Yeah, she's ask, all right. Uh, ask to talk to her. I mean, mid kick I at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, lazy, lazy, lazy. I look over at Chip and Jay to what to say next. Talk now. It's important. Please. Talk now. Please. It's important. Gil, I'm having trouble getting your attention while what is going on. We're on a, we're on this like pirate island somewhere in the northern sea. What? That's awesome. What sort of stuff have you guys gotten up to? This is sort of like a, this big celebration that we're having before we go into the battle of our lives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nothing better than the <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, the what? Celebrating in case we all die tomorrow, you know? Tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> More likely than you think. Ta -ma 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 -ma. Lizzie. Lizzie. Lizzie now. Lizzie now. Lizzie now. I have- Captain! Captain! What? Is he like fucking like somewhere in the background? It's the Riptide Pirates! They want to talk to you! <laughs> As I'm rolling like single digits. 
Fuck them, she sits in the back. <laughs> they ain't here right now. They can come and talk to me to my face. Put us on speaker and throw us out of Just bring the phone to her. Just bring the phone to her. He's some shouting behind. John's like, Captain, it's really fucking important. It's really important. <laughs> it's really important. It's so much my blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, fine, fine. Uh, and then after a second, Lizzie speaking. Hey, Lizzie, hi. I take the, I take the conch. Oh, thank God. And you hear like this fucking belch like. <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie. Can I help you? What is it? Get away from everybody else, please. Who is it? Who's talking right now? It's me. It's Chip. It's Chip. Lizzie. Um. Dude, just tell her there's a mole. Chip, where are you? Why aren't you here? Just say it. Just say it. Someone. Look, I know things went uh ter fuck really fucking bad last time, but I sent you guys an invite anyways. Lizzie, <laughs> there's a there's a there's a hot dog on your ship. Hey. What? She like screams at somebody. You hear Lizzie. a fucking clogger gun. <laughs> uh, Lizzie. What was that? Sorry. Lizzie. Hot dog. Thinking back to like when we gave her a hot dog and it was like, had like all the, the hot sauce in it to trick her. The, ba the bad hot dog, the bad hot dog, yes. the hot dog bad. Yes, yes. There's a hot dog on your ship. Why didn't you just say it in normal terms? Because if they can fucking hear. That's true. I'm saying hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> that that's must be a core memory when I fucking just Chip, like, are you fucking crazy? What, why are you chanting hot dog in the cone shell right now? Lizzie, where are you? Uh, throwing a banquet in, uh, in, in, in my old captain's old island. Why? Stay there, say nothing. Stay there. You know we're gonna- Lizzie! Tomorrow's the day. Just stay. We'll be there soon. No persuasion. 33. <laughs> <laughs> 17 plus 16. You really did just say, just chill. She, uh, there's like silence for a minute. Chip, don't call me to be a buzzkill ever again, okay? And she just hangs up. Do I- but She's like clearly like, they've all been drinking, they're all partying. It's very like chaotic over yes. there. And then the call was yes. very chaotic. You get a sense that like, they're in that silence. There was a, um... Some sort of energy that you feel between like siblings, right? You feel like some she understood the concern. Okay, voice. that's what I thought. That's what I thought. What she's gonna do about it, it's unclear. I mean, she is very intoxicated. I hang up. I just sit there for a second. Do you think that'll be enough? I mean, you just said hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog on your ship, hot dog. I don't mean to judge, but do you really think the Navy would send a hot dog? <laughs> when we were kids, I tricked her with a hot dog. It was really spicy and it I was just messing with her. Oh, so it was like a code of it's telling code, okay. yeah. her that someone on her ship was really spicy. We're gonna go, okay? I guess that's even more reason that we're gonna make it out of this. What do you mean by go, Chip? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. I just mean we... God. I mean, we can't leave her to walk into a trap. But, Chip, this is... No, I know. I know. How about this? I think, uh... He looks over at Igneous. I think me and Ig have had the same thought. Wherever you guys are going, I doubt they can fit this big ship with Alphonse's soul. There's a lot going on in the world beyond the Black Sea. We have a teleporter. But if we all teleport, we'll be leaving Alphonse behind. I don't know if this ship will survive with no one on it. We can we can take his his chip, I think. And then you lose the albatross. That's true. Where do you want to be, Chip? This is probably our only chance. We don't know what's gonna happen if you leave the Black Sea now. You've gone through so much to get here. If you want, we can go to Lizzie. Then we can split the crew. We'll make sure nothing happens to her. And don't forget you're still a skeleton. Would I be derailing things if we didn't go down in the hole? You have no idea what the consequences of that decision will be. I have to remember you are slightly compelled to go here by a deal you made with Niklaus. I just keep imagining the best case scenario where we get down there, everything goes exactly the way we would want it to, which is not what would happen. And we save Arlen, and Arlen comes up, and Lizzie's fucking dead. I guess the other option is... is... You go to save Lizzie and you come back and Arlen's fucking dead, right? So plenty worse that could happen for not going down there. We just can't be at two places at once. Well, I mean, and then I look at uh, <laughs> that's not gonna that's not gonna work. I know. We clone and make a Black Ops chip and then tell him to inform Lizzie. Shit, chip. <laughs> Give me that deck of cards. <laughs> what? What do you mean the deck of cards? The deck of cards, the thing, the, you know, the ones that suck. Why? Because sometimes they do good things. No, Jay, I, I don't think this time. How else are we supposed to, there's no world that we can. She's got a point. Jay, what are the cards even going to do? 
I don't know. What if you end up like Doppelgilly? Well, hopefully not. I don't think there's any duplicates. What about Doppelgilly? He's not smart enough to draw a card anymore. That's true. Well, last time I drew a card, I sent a frog to hell and got put in a bubble forever. And last time Doppelgilly drew a card, he became stupid and then got his soul sucked out. But last time Chip drew a card, he got rich and really good at talking. Really good at talking. And also, like, got to keep. I'll never get that lucky again, ever. Felipe got a, a billion dollars, and then I think they disappeared after, like... Oh, Felipe got a billion dollars. Okay, yeah. so... It also looked like he leveled up. Does that make sense? His skin started, like, glowing. It looked a little clearer. <laughs> it looked a little clearer. They're in the Northern Sea. It'll take us weeks to get there anyway. Unless we had someone to get there really fast. Or do we know anyone who could help us? Only Kira, but like she's also part of the Navy. I don't know how much. Or maybe Kira might know something about the teleportation. Do you have a way to find her in a day? Does the spyglass work on people? S no, I don't think so. It's mostly just navigation. It's not a locate creature or person thing. And if we leave here, what does that mean? A lot of things are about to change in the world in the coming days. And uh, I don't see us coming back ever i don't know if it'll even be possible and then you have a deal with niklaus and he's already uh, held oh, up geez. his end of the deal. the deal i mean so like what does that mean for I all the you, deal if because like he fixed ollie right it means ollie might be unfixed or worse probably i this i can only imagine worse think about malice and the and the, the, the mayor, and just everyone who's ever broken a deal with the Klaus and how it's gone for him. <laughs> but the deal is that I go down there, right? Yeah. Not that we go down there. You can't go alone? What? I can't let something happen to Ollie. And I couldn't look Arlen in the eyes if I left Lizzie to die. Okay, so then let me go to Lizzie alone, then, and you guys go. You can't go down there alone. It's way too you're dangerous. You're facing the Navy. Yeah, I'm facing my family. If anybody's going to be okay, then it'd be me. Nobody will be alone. You have a whole crew here. It's just about how you want to split your forces. Maybe we could just take a little bit to think about it. We do need to sleep. <laughs> it's been a long day. Take a rest. We'll figure it out in the morning. Or at least in a few hours. Either way, we got to get moving quickly, but... Let's just all wind down. We barely made it out of that alive. We'll figure something out. I don't know. And I, I, uh... I walk away. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow Trip. You do. Out the door and then onto the main deck. I've been where you are right now, but there are so many people here, and all over, that care about you, and that need you to come back from this. And I just couldn't live with myself if I saw even the faintest Chibo spark in your eye that you were going to try something, or do this alone, or sacrifice yourself, or whatever it was, without saying something. We're going to figure this out. How do I live with not saving everybody? How does anyone live with that? And how do I live with sending Jay off alone into a... into an ambush? Or she's gonna die. How do I take everyone here down into that fucking hole when only I'm the one who's supposed to go down there? Nobody else signed a contract. Nobody else handed Ollie that compass. Made the deal. Shit, Ar Arlen's only down there because of me. I, I was falling and it was raining. I, I slipped and he threw me back up. It's my fault. All of it. Well, do you think we're all here just because you signed a stupid piece of paper and we really want to see you go into a big fucking hole? No. We're here because of you, Chip. Not because of your mission or your past, but because we care about you. And we care about each other. You're not making these choices for people everyone wants to help. You've just been handed an impossible one. I know, I know, I know. But it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I just wish I could believe it. You're here. And you want to be everywhere, but... Can look at me? I take off the bandana. 
Really, look at me. I'm not even here anymore. I don't believe that. Despite everything, despite what my eyes see, despite what, despite what my oath says, I don't believe that. Bandana or no bandana. Your chip, and you're not gonna get through this alone, but you're gonna get through this. We're gonna find a way. How did you know that I was gonna, that I was gonna go? You made me a promise. No more lies. No more pranks. I guess I just smelled a prank brewing. <laughs> I can't watch you throw yourself away. You're worth so much more than that. Just wish you could see it. Thanks, Captain. No problem, Captain. Do what you gotta do. Well, Jay's gotta... Go fight the Navy. She's got the best shot there, and I've gotta go down in the hole. I don't know how to split up the crew, and I don't think I can make that call. I'm sure you understand it's... Why don't you get some rest? I'll talk about it with Jay. And we'll save everyone. Including you. I'll go give Gillian a, a hug and... Oh, you're all bones. <laughs> <laughs> Feels funny, right? A little bit. Here, listen, I can do this. Okay, bedtime. <laughs> I'm just not and go, go to bed. Chip opens the hatch. And then starts to walk down the steps. I just let out a sigh, accepting that I don't know where, where he's going to be tomorrow morning, but it's not my choice to make. And I'm going to go... Uh, Talk to Jay. Jay's at a table stressing. <laughs> no, like the whole room as soon as you left was still frozen. Mm -hmm. All everybody just staring off to the distance, staring at the table, staring at the papers. I, I put my hand on the deck of many things and sort of like slowly like scooch it across the table from Jay. Good call. So <laughs> <laughs> she's like, as you do it, she's like, hands to it. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh. Yeah, actually, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Cranberry juice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could actually use some of that because it feels like we just got fucked. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does, doesn't it? I don't, why didn't I ever think about that? Why didn't I ever think about that? Like, there's, there's totally, of course there's more, I knew there was more people like me. Why didn't I ever think that we'd be in Lizzie's crew? Of course they're in Lizzie's crew. Sorry, Jay, that was actually so funny. Take a big sip of that. Give me that one. Hey, 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 <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Oh, God. I'm here to figure out with you how we're divvying this up. Is that the plan? Are we uh, splitting... I, I should go to Lizzie, and it shouldn't be more than three people. Don't you guys hate each other? Yeah, but we can put our differences aside a little bit, maybe. Yeah, it's, yeah it seems like a complicated situation. It's a complicated si I don't want her to die. <laughs> I was just, like, mad at her because, like, she never told me about my sister. She doesn't need to die. <laughs> they just quirky hate each other. They don't really hate each other. It's like me and Jeff. My sister never told me about her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's going to be okay. You're so smart. Who here is best to come with you? Uh, yeah, no, honestly, <laughs> let it out. Let that out. Um, um, Queen, uh, Queen, Queen, I feel like can, can probably blend in. Like, it's the only way I'm getting across the entire, the entire world in a day is via teleporter. And the only way people with anybody, Navy teleporter, uh, Kira help, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll get arrested. Yeah, there you go. That's, <laughs> hey, Jay, that's up to me. That sound, all of that sounds genius. Uh, Queen says, I, I'm sure with uh, Inza's help as well, we could figure it out. Look. There you go, Qu Queen. That's why you've got the crown. Okay, so you, Queen, who else? Uh, can I volunteer? Just spend a long time in the Black Sea and getting out sounds nice. They they don't know who you are. They don't know who you are, so that's also good. Um, everybody else has kind of wanted posters. Uh, you're not known to be part of a crew, so that's perfect, yeah. Uh, me, Ignis, Queen. That's that's a good team right there. That's a great team. And then you have. Hey, what about me? Earl. <laughs> the wild card. No, that's a terrible idea. Terrible idea. You could take Dre. <laughs> Chip, go back into your bed. Harry. I would say I would say yes to Dre, but like, he's like, notoriously. I just think it'd be cool if he was there because like. Oh, that's so thing. true. Yeah, it would be kind of cool. I don't know, but he's like old and. He's not that old. He's just. He just, he just, his, his arms are uh, atrophied. I don't know, I'm just worried because, like, I feel like half my plan is going under, undercover and not getting recognized. Take Doppelgillian. What? 
<laughs> Take? No, no, I think Doppelgillian will be much more used to you guys here. See, I can understand how you'd think that. It's just not going to be easy. <laughs> We're going to have to like drag him around. He doesn't really move. Okay, okay, we'll keep Doppelgillian. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that. No solid foods yet either. Okay, you, Queen, Igneous, I can ask. Earl. I can ask. No, why, Earl? Because I'm going to die if I stay out here, okay? That's true. For you real are, about it. I mean, you could just come back. You should probably bring Finn, too. <laughs> He's in the library. He's so happy. You kind of you kind of said it how it is, Earl. We're going all, all into a stupid hole in the, in the ocean. Um, it's not looking good. I think, Jay, if you want to take everyone that could be a help, or we just want to keep safe from all this. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'll be bringing everybody, depending on how I get to the North Sea. I don't know. I'm gonna try to go the fastest way. I don't know. Some people might have to stay on Canela. That's all right. What are we gonna do when we get there? Where to Canela? I mean, to North Sea, with Lizzie. We don't know what Lizzie's planning. Whoever she is. What did she say on on the phone? Uh, something about her old captain's island. We know where they're attacking. I mean, it's the navy base. Bring out the map. Yeah, I pulled out the map. I'd like to get like a vibe. I think of like how many days trip. It would be to get from where they are currently to the Navy base. But I guess they said tomorrow is the battle of their lives, so they're probably within a day. Griffin looks at the map with you. Points at the top right of the Northern Sea. Seems like a, a mass of land that is shaped like an X, um, but it's unlabeled on the Captain Rose map. He says, Here, if I had to guess. And then from here. And then he uh, traces his finger across into like the middle of the northern sea where the Solstice Stronghold is. This is like week, week or more. Probably of travel. So if they're here right now and they go here, it's not a day away. So they would have to travel not by ship or they're not going there at all. The worst just occurred to me, actually. You say, uh, Gillian, when, when would you take your chance to, to strike back at the pirates who are planning on attacking you the next day? If you knew their entire plan. Gillian was actually trained for this in a well, simulation. Glad you asked, because I've actually done this a bunch. <laughs> I guess uh, I would probably show up when they were asleep, especially after a big party I feel like it would really you know knock them out um and then um in the night under the you know cover of nothing but moonlight uh, I'd silently execute uh, first the strongest then the rest of the men then the women and children the way you said it, it's making me laugh not the context fuck um, At least that's every time I've done it. Hey, thank you for your expertise in the situation, Gillian. I really appreciate it. Yeah. That does make me worry that you guys might have even less time than we thought. I don't even know if it's possible. There's a chance. There's a chance that the Navy thinks differently, that they're waiting, that they have a setup, that they need information. You know the Navy better than I do. This is just... These are tactics I learned. I don't know if it's the same. They would have to know that they're partying right now. The mole is at that party. And if you can come up with a strategy. And they surely did. Jay's like biting on her finger nails. What if you did something so fucking stupid that it would require the immediate attention of the entire Navy? Like what? <laughs> well, I don't know. As a reformed terrorist, I can think of a few ideas. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if you can make them think there's some sort of Second assault, or... You should not just do that at the promise fashion. Yeah, but that was like dark, scary place full of like weird dogs. And you stole a lot of really valuable information. A lot of really valuable information. I don't know. What if you caused a crisis that needed immediate managing? I don't know what that would look like, but what does the Navy care about? How can you pull that rug out from under them and make them turn their attention for even a day? Is there something in that information you can weaponize? Could bring family drama into it? Start a fight with your dad, you could make it weird. It's getting uh, fairly, fairly, fairly late, and you're not losing on sleep time hours. Ah! Don't take away my long rest, DM! I don't know, you could pull a fucking card and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's also an option, but also that's terrifying. Shit, I mean, like, I could leave now and maybe just see what happens and then go for the best, and then you and Chip uh, and whoever else wants to stay with you can... can Go to the hole in the sea, 
and I will handle things on the not terrible front. But I think I'd have to go right now. Go set some fucking fires, demigod. Word, give me those cards too. I'm gonna bring them just in case. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I already was was gonna. Yeah, yeah. I'm already there. Don't even worry. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna take the cards with me, and uh, I guess who on the crew is up and wants to come and doesn't want to sleep tonight. <laughs> Would you guys like to teleport Finn back to Canela? Or keep him in the library. It's probably better to. Do you want him to take the library card with him when he goes? He should go, but I, like even if he loves the library, I think we should keep it as an as an out or maybe some sort of like thing we can use. I definitely want Igneous and Queen. Um, I actually kind of prefer if Griffin would stay back with these guys. I think that we should bring all the old men back to Canela. Dre, Finn. Well, Dre's not really old man, but you know if Dre wants to come with me too, that's totally an option. But Dre, Finn, and Earl. And that leaves Alphonse's. Kind of soul chip, I think, right? I'm not missing anybody else, am I? Definitely take that Alphonse chip. You think I should take it with me? Yes. I think Dre wants to be there with Chip. Cares more about Arlen than his That's family. fair. That's fair. I actually get that. Not more than Jay, but like... Finn should go, I think, with the library card probably, right? Like, that's... Does it seem like Finn wants to go? Finn is the most comfortable, like, the most uh, alive here in his library. But, you know, he's going to listen to what you guys say. Why don't you take Grand Peepaw and his and his library card then and get get him somewhere he can be safe? You could try and uh, you could try and convince Dre not to go because he he is not much help in like combat and stuff. But like if you approached him, he would be really adamant on being there for Chip and Arlen when Chip finds Arlen. Jay would respect his wishes there, honestly. Um, and also like they need people to be able to row this boat. At the yeah. end of the day, uh, he got strong legs. So having having Griffin and Dre, I think, would speed things up. Okay, Griffin, Dre, Gillian, Chip. That's who's staying behind. You have to walk by Chip uh, with your crew because the teleporter's in the bottom tech. If you want to say anything to him, of course. Um, I'd probably want to have an aside with both of them. Chip, um, stand at the ceiling. Are you going? Right now, yeah, I have to. Um, at least if we want Lizzie to be safe, because. Things are so much worse than I could have uh, possibly imagined. <laughs> Get up from where I was laying down, and I'll just walk over to Jay, be silent for a second. It's gonna be okay, okay? I can handle this, and I know you guys can handle it here. Just be safe, please. I love you, Jay. <laughs> I'll hug him. Love you, Chip. I'll, um... Shit, this is like the first time that Jay's like <laughs> gonna be away from from like the general, the captains generally. Besides, like the the odd time that Gillian gets fully split up. <laughs> this, what the, oh god, <laughs> oh god, I'm leaving Chip and Gillian alone. It's time. We've been waiting <laughs> for this. Oh, dude, the world is so fucked. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. We're gonna get so high. Oh, it's gonna be so funny. We're gonna we're gonna fucking show up. We're gonna actually show up to the whole high. It's gonna be so bad. Captain, Chip, when I see you next, please don't be bones. I'll do my best. And I love you. Queen gives you a hug. <laughs> you are you my too, best friend. Lo you are my best friend. Figure out that melody. You'll be the first to hear it. This is, I guess, uh, uh, goodbye for a bit, but I just figure it's it's appropriate. No matter where we are, or how separated we are, we're always going to be the reptile pirates. So, but Jay puts her hand in, and Ignis, you've yet to take the oath. Anyways, well, there's ever a time. I guess you never took it. Well, Ignis, as a reptile pirate, we've all agreed to fuck shit up. Fuck shit up. Help those in need. Help those in need. And be the best. Goddamn pirates. Anyone's ever seen. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Are oh, the best uh, goddamn pirates ever was ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Hey, so, and uh, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. I'll bump and give him a little fist bump. So this is the crew you're taking? Yeah, um, anybody who basically wanted to come, but... Um, yeah, I didn't. Dre wanted to stay. Um, you'll also have double Gillian. <laughs> well, that's gonna change the tides. Anyways, time's not looking too good. So. Better get moving. Sure shot. <laughs> Don't die again, hey? I'll be alright. 
they all huddle up into like the little uh, chamber where the teleportation circle is at the floor. And um, per Enzo's instructions, you begin to activate it. And Chip and Gil, I guess you're both in there. You guys see Jay? You all like eyes? Jay looks like she's like fucking about to cry right now. And they're all gone. The room is quiet. Now what, you two? Sleep? Ooh, yeah, I'm lay back well, down. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the fucking barrel I sleep in because I'm <laughs> sleeping in a barrel of water and I really emotionally try and like get into a barrel and it just doesn't happen. It just like doesn't work. Jay and most of your crew disappear uh, for the rest of the session. We won't be cutting over to that. You two try too long rest. I'll have both of you make wisdom saving throws for the corruption. Oh, don't forget your plus four before good night. Pulling out the riptide dice. I fucking need them. Pookie. Pookie. Why are your eyes open, Pookie? It's bedtime. <laughs> Go back to sleep, Noodle. <laughs> My little scrunchie, I see the way you're staring at that ceiling speckle. Close those eyes, fuzzy bear. I got a 15, baby girl. <laughs> Eight. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did you add my four already? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pucurino, that's no good. <sighs> this night, both of you take a point of corruption. Oh, oh, oh. For ease, I'll say that you guys are following the direction Jay set towards um, the intersection point between the three landmarks. Ooh, we lost our fucking navigator. Oh, shit. As you've been getting closer, the feeling of dread gets stronger. Now, Chip, go ahead and roll your intelligence saving throw. 24. Would you like to describe anything that you're thinking of to remember yourself? Uh, nothing good. The night of the hole, probably. <laughs> Just that you know, image over and over. I was thinking about the same thing. <sighs> but yours is puckered. Mine is wide <laughs> no. open. Fucking oh, it's a, diff it's a different... Oh, gaping. My, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Currently where I am in the book. Gaping. It is yawning. <laughs> but yeah, just like the image of like being thrown back onto the ship, falling off, being thrown back on, falling off, being thrown back on, making me like seasick even, just like imagining it. No, as you guys are traveling, um, it's about a day or two away. So you're going to make these rolls again, but is there anything that you guys wanted to do as you traveled? Yeah, it's a bit of a tonal shift, but I do want to read the rest of Dark Puckered Hall. Oh <laughs> my god. I was so fucking concerned about that. <laughs> I was like, oh no, there's no way that we can do this. I need to know everything about- Listen, we're going into the, like, the second biggest hole I've ever heard of, so I need to know everything I can. Are you sure? You want to finish the book? <gasps> my grandfather never stopped before the finish line and neither will I. Are you gonna read it out loud to where Chip can hear it? I'm going to read it out loud to Chip, yeah. Okay. Like, not to Chip, but I'm gonna read it out loud at a volume where no one on the ship cannot hear it. So here's what I'm gonna say. Go ahead and make two more. Now, this is no, you're not doing saves anymore because you've read through the book enough to where you're starting to, like, you interpret it in your own way. My mind obviously, is calloused. Obviously, <laughs> Gillian. Calloused. Yeah, so instead of um, saving throws, we're going to do charisma checks. Just two of them before you read. It is merely science. It is merely bruised, spongy flesh against bruised, spongy flesh. First one's a 22, second one's a Kay. 20. Are you ready to read line by line? Hey, Gillian, what you reading? The real question is, what are you hearing? And the answer is... The last chapter. Am I gonna listen? Do I have to listen? You're gonna listen. You turn around, it's ice. Nah, Gillian, I don't think I want to... <laughs> You're trapped. I've been reading this book for a while, Chip, and I figure... Granted its contents, it's only fitting if we finish with a bang. I thought the hole in the sea was the one to be scared of. I shouldn't have expected any less, Grandpa. Chapter 69! <laughs> oh no. Behind bars. Yes. Behind? I don't think I'm ready. Um, <laughs> I, I want you all to know before I do this, before I say this, that we, me, Condi, and Bisley have had a conversation, many conversations, over the last 40 minutes Well, Chrisley has written this piece of work, and I don't think there's anything that I could say or do, not even knowing what I'm about to read, that could possibly prepare you for the combination of words 
that will come out of my tainted mouth. I think some of the things he said while writing it were, oh God, uh, <laughs> and what if this is too much? And I hope this goes in the episode. I accidentally, I accidentally looked at a random line. I shouldn't have done that. The final story I recount is the one memory I can never forget. Oh no. The one to conclude my research on this topic. The one of not lust, but love on the open sea. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, this is actually seeming like it might be might be kind of sweet. That's um, awesome. Yeah, I love that. I find myself in a prison cell somewhere in the eastern sea. A single man lays on the cold stone in this chilled chamber. Oh no. One window provides a cool magenta glow that illuminates his sparkling aquatic skin. It looks soft, but fragile. In this prison to find another man from the undersea, my mind raced with questions, but I couldn't hear my thoughts over the thumping of my heart. For thump, for thump. Killian, please, uh, please uh, melt the ice. <laughs> I quietly call out to him, his head slowly raised. <laughs> How long is this? <laughs> and, and long hair, and long hair silked like it was wet fell over his face. Between the gaps of strands, his eyes connected with mine, and I swam in them. Those viridian orbs surrounded by flawless, exquisite features. I don't have much longer, he said to me. The tension sparking between us was so intensely palpable, I could practically hear the heartbeats pounding in our members <laughs> as they engorged. You said the, you said the word! And I what? And I, I dropped to my shut up chip! We're getting to the juicy bits! Okay. I dropped to my knees oh no. to lift his chin. No. You need not to pass. I, a cleric, can cure your ailment. I knew the face trembling in my palm was unique like no other, and that he was yearning for release. Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot cure me, cleric, but you can grant my last wish. He whimpered this in a whisper back to me. Whimper. With his frail but disproportionately large hands, he, he guided mine down the veins in his neck and over the bumps of his muscles. Slowly unraveling the rags he wore. His cock was a pillar of hope. A uh, lighthouse standing tall to guide this lost sailor home. Oh my god! A breath escaped my lungs. I could no longer resist the pull. When our lips began battle, our tongues our tongues fought for dominance, and the room flooded with our desire. Whatever conversation we might have had, we expressed the words through our touch. My half moon handy maneuver had. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 The dying beauty was still st st stiff with so much more life to extricate. I need to die. I need to die right now. I need to die right <laughs> We're now. We're about halfway. As if sucked into a whirlpool. <laughs> I was falling. And I was falling hard. My anus was vibrating oh with god. anticipation. Oh my god. And I straddled him and growled. Grr. What? <laughs> Send me to the heavens, my angel, he moaned softly. <laughs> Tears welled up in my eyes. I wondered what I had done to deserve this retribution. To find a perfect match. To love at first glance without touch. It would soon be gone. <laughs> what is, what is, what is it? What are Killing, you, why, why did you stop? Each time I switched to maneuvers... He would come exorbitant amounts. <laughs> oh. But he did not realize the spells I was casting to heal him. Do you even know what this means? They continued to fail, and I oh. 
continued to rail. His skin became more, more and more and more <sighs> opaque, reminding me of the ghostly man I was with. I moved behind him and gently pushed his head down onto our stripped rag. No! He arched his back Stop! to receive. Stop to it! Receive, receive what? No, don't say it! Dolphin's blow maneuver. What the fuck does that mean? I can feel. I can't. Really, <laughs> I can feel my cock pulse in and out of his rectal love tunnel. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? As he <laughs> himself, he was never finished. Killian, please. As if each, as please. each, each maneuver, don't rush me. I beg you to as stop. As if each maneuver and position was prolonging his life. Where did you lock the door? I accepted it. I needed it. Get me out I of here. I was content with it. We were going to fuck forever. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, forever is a concept of fantasy. Oh no. I could not squeeze my mega cum blast off any longer. I was happy our destinies intertwined, even if this was the last we'd be together. Our show of love was reaching its climax. Our screams of passion echoed through this chamber and into the prison beyond. Anyone within our proximity was intoxicated with our wails of stimulation. The time had come. I finished. <laughs> and everyone cheered. <laughs> And what, happened to the, and what happened to the other guy? Everyone cheered. We held each other close on the slicked ground. Gross. Behind the bars meant to constrain us. We were the most free. Our noses were pressed. Our cheeks wet from the tears. It was time to say goodbye. His final words are tattooed into my very soul. If the rest of my life was meant for this moment, then I wouldn't have changed a thing. My heart was a dark puckered hole, and you have filled it. The end. Wow. <laughs> and I close the book, <laughs> and I throw it into the Black Sea. <laughs> as soon as you close the book, you feel this... Um rush of magical energy sort of enter you. No, why that terminology? It what? It, it does what? It does. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, the book. Uh, anyways, <laughs> you can raise your charisma by two. Did you reflip? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, grandfather. Thank you, grand Rizzler. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe that you fucking reskinned a D and D ability tome as my grandfather's sex book. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Charisma too. That's in. That's the most unhinged shit you've ever done, dude. In every other timeline except this one, we burned this fucking book and watched as the as the fucking ashes floated into oblivion. This is the greatest day of my life. I destroy the book forever. I destroy <sighs> Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Yeah, you I toss it. It disappears. What's the look on Chip's face? Many creases, many folds in his skin and his face. Doesn't have skin right now. He's a bone man. No, he's disguised himself, but he's subconsciously made himself look like how he feels. Which is? The tired, sagging eyes, but eyeballs wide, bloodshot. Yeah, it was pretty good. Weird way to say absolutely horned up. Yeah, I, uh... Was it worth it? I look at him... I feel infinitely more powerful, like my magic could level cities. Chip, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> A single fucking tear fall, falls down from my eye. I will never look at your grandfather 
the same. <laughs> I'll never look at my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> when was when was that written? That he did those things. It doesn't matter. I just hope he's too old to do them again. <laughs> <laughs> he used to give me piggyback rides. I didn't know what was on his back before. Dude, let me tell you, you weren't the only one. Oh. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> I start crying. I start fucking crying. I start, I'll start crying too. We just start fucking wailing on the deck of the ship. I start fucking sobbing. How did this happen? <laughs> it, was so, it was beautiful, Jim, in the sickest way. Like the love story was nice, but he said mega cum blast. <laughs> I kid you not, for this session, my entire sheet of notes is just this chapter. <laughs> That's it. I commend that, truly. <laughs> and you know what? And you know what? It's the best thing you've ever written. Fuck Riptide. You need <laughs> to follow Fuck your calling. All. We need to publish this. Can our next campy campaign be old man yaoi themed? Can I play Finn to one shot again? I have some ideas. <laughs> okay, so for the next two days of travel, uh, that was one of the, that was a totally different day, by the way. Um, go ahead and just roll two more wisdom saving throws each and two more intelligence saving throws, Chip. I feel like genuinely emotionally scarred. Um, okay, I'm going to throw, okay, wisdom saving throw. Okay, day one is 24. Day two is natural 20 on the wisdom save. Let's go, dude! Day one is a 19. I use okay. favored by the gods. And day two is a natural 20. Okay. Wow. Do you guys got natural 20s on the same day? Reading the book will do that to you. I'm corrupted no, as I can nothing get. Nothing else could corrupt me. <laughs> Intelligent saving throw. 28. Holy fuck. What? And then the next one. All right. Well, it had to fucking end sometime. <laughs> 19. Oh, wait. You should also be adding. This is crazy. Add five now instead of four. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. On both of these fronts, the two of you are good. You guys are all on the main deck. The four of you. Dre, Griffin, Gillian, Chip. And you are getting so close to the point, you can feel this, like, very, very heavy aura. To the point where it's almost difficult to keep conscious that's how oppressing it is the closer you get. So, last roll here. Go ahead and make a charisma saving throw, both of you. 34. Fuck yes! 25! This dice, like five rolls, 17 and above. Really? What dice is that? That is the Riptide dice. <laughs> Coming soon, eventually. Coming soon. Well, eventually. I mean, I'm not trying to shill, but I recognize a pattern where I see it. And that's a winner. <laughs> and they're not weighted. This aura is so oppressive and heavy. Um... All of you feel it, and you, Gillian, you, Chip, uh, aren't physically affected. Neither is Dre. But you look over it after you hear the steps, uh, the stumble of Griffin just, like, falling backwards a bit, and then he, like, falls onto a knee, catches himself on the railing of the ship, uh, uh, and, and just nearly looks like he almost passed out. Right after watching Griffin stumble, <laughs> what the fuck is this? You see, like, black flames in the distance on the horizon, uh, uh, this, the origin of this aura. I think it means we're getting closer. You guys ready for what's coming? Of course. Are you? I guess we'll find out. You're the only one who's been down there. Any idea what we should expect? Natural one. He never rolls good on those. <laughs> I told you. I can barely remember anything. Just checking. You approach, and this flickering flame gets m larger and larger as you get closer. And behind it, you see some sort of island, but your eyes focus in on what is causing this black aura. And sitting on the surface of the Black Sea, almost on like on some sort of sandbar that sort of blocks the entrance of whatever island is behind it, just by looking at the map. You can tell that you've been heading towards uh, something called the Kamagun. The what? The Kamagun. This shit was chapter 9, dude. Catch up. Around this figure that is cloaked in shadow that is emanating off of it, you see uh, piles and piles of skeletons and corpses. Uh, some of them... Actually, both of you roll perception. See how much detail you get. Chip, what do your eagle eyes see? I got a hate team. Fifteen. Both of you can tell that some of these corpses are old enough to have decayed, and some of them are fresh enough to still have skin. They're all dressed in these sailors' garbs. 
uh, pirate hats swung about. And this is clearly blocking the way into the docks of the island behind. And as you get close enough, um, Griffin begins to sort of use the paddles to turn the ship so that it's not going head on, like a head on collision with this figure. And you rush to that side that uh, the figure is still exposed on. And you see these, uh, you see what I can only describe as a massive, hulking turtle. Oh, um, Jesus. And you can only, you can barely get the fact that it's a turtle just by this sort of uh, facial structure underneath a headpiece, a mantle of some kind of this great white shark. And when I say great white shark, the shark is actually white and its eyes are red. And it's just the head of it with the teeth that are sort of like over uh, this turtle's head. And then the rest of it is sort of flows back over its shell. You can tell that this turtle has like blood stained, charred rope wrapped around its forearms. It's a massive turtle and it's just sitting there watching you as you approach. Does it look like a guardian giant perhaps? I guess so. Yeah, I mean, if you want to think about it like that. Okay, okay, okay. Yowdy! You shout that out. <laughs> yowdy, yowdy, yowdy! Turn, turn over the ship. Like, uh, as soon as you say that, you watch this figure grab a barrel and put it in front of it. And then you hear, You watch as he puts his arm on the barrel in the same gesture oh. as someone prepping for an arm wrestle. <laughs> oh, I know I got it. Chip, I think the Black Sea's, I think it's going on me. <laughs> Gillian, you can do this. Trey looks off and then for a moment has a flashback. Holy shit. Do you remember this? We know that, Turtle. Well, anything could help. He's big. Jug, it's me, Trey. Then there's just silence. Yeah. It's possible that he's, I, I don't know, wrestled himself into some sort of weird wrestling corruption. Well, this was how the guy at the uh, bar was. Yeah, so maybe uh, we Stuck just need to- Stuck doing whatever he was doing last. Maybe we just need to finish the wrestle and set him free. Okay, can we, can we pass if we arm wrestle you really good? <sighs> or is that just how you idle? And I'm picking up the signals wrong. That doesn't sound like a Chibo job. <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> yeah, um... I hold up my bone arm. No muscles. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? I need... I need... I need the moral support. Griffin, I don't know, dude. Honestly, you're huge. Like, are you stronger than me? You might be stronger than me. Let's test it right now. Okay. I arm wrestle Griffin. <laughs> warm up, warm up. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Warm up, warm up. Select our oh. champion, select our champion, select roll our champion. Roll a strength check, roll a strength check. Okay, okay. I rolled uh, roll a 15. Uh, Griffin rolled a natural three. What the fuck? God, you, fuck, jeez. Is it, is it just all? It's all fur? It's all fur. No, it's not. <laughs> I just... One more time. One more time. One more time. I, no, I saw when you hit the ground. I literally saw when you hit the ground. You're like all skin and bone in there. Okay, all right. One more, one more, one more. Here we go. I got a natural one. <laughs> I get a blue. What is it? What is it? What is it total? Because I rolled Five. a natural two. You guys are deadlocked for a moment, and then Griffin just like... You like slip, and then Griffin wins. He goes... Man, that doesn't even fucking count. Dude, all right, all right. Well, the whole half the crew's gone, and the decks, the decks, pretty, pretty, pretty wet. Pretty One, wet. no, no, no. One more for the title. I got a twelve. Got a natural seven. You win. Yeah! <laughs> all right, I win. Now let us through. No, Gillian, you have to go do it to him. Right. Griffin drops the small little rowboat that allows you to get uh, towards him if you want to go in. Let's do it. I need, I, I need my posse. I need my posse. I need my posse. I need my hype squad. Here, I'll go with you. I'll go with him. Everyone will then. And at this point, at this moment, Griffin says, "All right, if we're all going, are we saying goodbye in the albatross?" Is this where the hole is? Is this the right place? This is the island. Chip, you actually feel in your pocket the like almost like a vibrato or a hum from the compass, and you get the sense that you're in the right spot. It's like pulling you towards it, but it's past this guard, Jug, who, uh, which is what Dre said. Yeah, I think this is where we, uh, where we leave it for now. I mean, I guess one of us could stay with it. Too dangerous. Goodbye, old friend. And I, uh, 
There's like those little kind of like studs, like those little wooden studs on sort of the railing of a ship. I like to think that we've made them into little pretzels. I'll just like, or or, or some kind of design. Speaking, yeah. Speaking of pretzels, did you give her to Jay or are you taking her through the black hole? I would have for sure given yeah, her to Jay. I also I probably would have um, taken the like soul chip. From the Al- albatross. E- e- that's what that's what I've been yeah. I've been assuming. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Maybe we'll get lucky, and it'll be here when we're done. Take a dagger and go up to it, and just carve into it, albatross. <laughs> just in case. You guys get on the little rowboat, and you start making your way. Don't leave me. What was that? <laughs> They're around here drunk. <laughs> 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 Whoa, Gillian, did you just touch my boot? No, I don't think so. Why, did you feel something go in your shoe or something? Yeah, something just touched my foot. <laughs> Weird, I feel something slide into my armor. It's like gum. During your travel, you've been able to um, sense and deal with minor like encounters, you know, like different hollowed popping up in the sea or, or, or what have you, to the point where it hasn't like been necessary to go through, right? But it's been there. This, however, you feel that whatever would be around here, it's way too intimidated by this one bow. No one's ever arm wrestled this guy and lived. Are the skeletons from people that arm wrestled him and then just like got exploded into a billion pieces? That's You're about to find out, I guess. Dude, I think it is. <laughs> hey, Chip, if this guy beats me in an arm wrestle, I might turn into a skeleton like you. But then we can be bone bros. Hey, skele bros. Skele bros. I'm ready. You step up. There is not necessarily a chair. But there is space for you to put your arm and to grab his. And looking at him compared to you is uh, the equivalent <laughs> of a human and a dinosaur. I mean, like, he's very large. And Chip, roll history. Nine. Okay. You know this guy? Um, whoever this is, was uh, just by Dre's reaction. He was on the Black Rose Pirate ship. And he is so much bigger than you ever remembered. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I remember fuck. him. Yeah. Step up to the plate to the challenge, right? Yeah, I step up to the plate. I clench a fist, I'm gonna use Leviathan's might as I grow large and this red lightning starts to envelop me. Good shit. It clashes with the black flame of an aura that is sort of around him. You think I'm the challenger here, noodle boy? (laughs) (laughs) I grow. What does Leviathan's might do again? It makes me grow big. Um, I kind of was just gonna do it for that, but also it gives me advantage on strength checks. You grow large enough to where you can actually grasp his massive hand. The rest of you watch, and this fucking energy is just flying. Red lightning and black flame. Come then, Guardian! Let me see what that thing do! You feel as if his own aura is coming from his soul, like his very key, in a way. Go ahead and roll the first contested athletic check. Okay, here we go. 23. That's pretty good. When you grip his hand, you realize you are locked in until one of you loses. <laughs> and that begins the battle. And this gust of wind sort of blows uh, 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 almost hard enough to knock over the rowboat, but you guys are managed to steady it. You got this, Gillian. It's the last step. I actually don't think it is, but we'll deal with that after this. So the last step to like get there, and then we do the first step of the next phase. I'm going to need to fight left-handed for a month. You feel yourself gaining a bit of leverage. And as you do, his skin splits open and this blood sort of spurts. Oh, oh, dude, I'm sorry. Do you want to restart on this? Do you want to use the other arm? Uh, you feel him grip your hand tighter. Second round. Ready? No, I'm not ready. It's my destiny. Whomp, 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 whomp. I make that sound out loud. I'll send you to a peaceful place, little turtle guy. I'll send you to a special kelp farm. 27. Where you had just gained a little bit of leverage, it moves back into neutral. And you feel your own bone splintering and your skin split open. Oh my god! You take 30 points of damage. 30 points of damage! I go, whoo, got a little kick. (laughs) You hear him say to you, and all of you would hear it because he's very loud. Many pirates have come. Many have died. I know many have come. I've read about most of them. Do win means to live. Then that means to lose means to die. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dre, you remember this guy, right? Yeah, but he wasn't like this. No, but uh, 
First of all, he never even spoke. Second, I definitely beat him in the last arm wrestle. That's true. That did happen. Was was there anything <laughs> else he valued? Maybe we could distract him with something? Us. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like that's working right now. Uh... Don't you dare, guys! This is hype! This is hype! <laughs> Don't take this from me! <laughs> We're just trying to help Gillian! I roll. Is there a face that he would recognize the most? 24. The face of defeat! Maybe Captain Rose? Do you even remember what Captain Rose looks like? Uh, I can figure it out, and maybe we can workshop it from there. Yeah, I want to disguise myself as Captain Rose, or at least what I remember him looking like. Okay, and then what do you say when you do? You see, watch as Gillian gets pushed uh, a little bit more into the losing side of the spectrum. Okay, okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use one sorcery point for magical guidance to just get a reroll on it real quick. This might not do anything for us, but it might. Okay, no, I still I definitely lose. I definitely lose. <laughs> you take 26 points of damage as the uh, the muscles underneath your skin begin to ripple and tear. Am I able to look like him properly? I want Adre to like help me, like be like, nah, the face was like a little different, like nose. We'll say that like you're going to roll deception, and however good you roll, I just wanted you to say something first to see if I made you roll with advantage or oh, disadvantage. I wanted to say the the phrase like. Dre, what was the phrase? I keep forgetting the phrase, man. Didn't you, like, just hear it or something? I did, I did, I did. I just have the memory of, like, a, a fucking goldfish. Was it be loud, be merry, or be merry, be loud? Fuck, I don't remember shit. <laughs> I'm gonna do the be loud, be merry, and then we'll see if the... Be loud, be merry! I get, like, right up in his face. Be pirates. <laughs> you remember. Uh, getting up into his face will require a full-on strength check, and there's, like, fucking gusts of wind blowing from underneath our feet. Dude, we're so locked in, bro. We're so <laughs> locked in. We're a we're a boss fight. You don't have the level to approach. You're, you're like shouting it out. I'll say that. Unless you want to make two rolls. Uh, go ahead and roll deception. I'm trying to distract him. Bring him back a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck! Five. Five on a what? On a deception? Dude, yeah. what the fu- I actually get so surprised when you roll like below a 30 Yeah, million. I'm not good at lying. For this round? Um, if you succeed on helping Chip, it'll take away, uh, any, like, aid that fucking- I'll make him roll with disadvantage. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, But I failed, cool. like a motherfucker, right? You failed this round. Okay, so okay. we're gonna do it again. I've never told a lie before, and I say with absolute certainty, you're going to be bones! I roll my dice, I add my d4, I look up to the sky, and I say, eat a 30! A 30! Okay, okay, okay. You, uh, you managed to push it back. To, uh, to a little bit before neutral, so you actually do win that round. Yeah! <laughs> you can see underneath the shadow casted by this giant shark mantle. Uh, by the way, Gilly, make a history check. I don't know if you had ever read about this, but you might recognize a shark. Um, you see that the skin is ripping up near the pectorals and stuff underneath, like, the, uh, shell. I don't make a history check! Okay, you don't Because give a the only thing that's gonna be history <laughs> is you! I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, Chip, just, uh, keep trying, Chip, I, mean, I don't okay. wanna kill what was, Jug. What was his, uh, thing on the ship? What was his position? Historians are gonna need a nat 20 to remember you! It, 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 it was out. The helmsman, the helmsman, he, he fucking, he rode, he drove our ship around, he knew how to navigate and shit. We need you to man the helm, Jug! Man the helm! <laughs> Get on the helm, boy! I'm picturing this huge fucking crazy anime fight and Chip like a bug grabbed onto his face, just like screaming into it. The helm, boy! Alright, roll deception with advantage. We need you on the helm! I need it! Alright, audio <laughs> listeners, busily just going crazy with the webcam right now, the camera movements are insane. First roll! I rolled a four, but I have advantage. <laughs> this is actually POV him, dude. This is what he's seeing. Fuck! That is a ten. Oh, okay. You watch. Uh, you watch Jug's eyes that are like, like. Uh, uh, <laughs> you watch them like they just very quickly dart over to the albatross behind you, um, and that gives uh, enough of a distraction for this next round. Ready? Contested athletics. Do it again. Look at me. Wait. What do you need me at the helm for? <laughs> no, Gillian. Stop. Stop. Gillian, go. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of. Running out of things to say. Give it that gilly gumption, baby. 27. Twice in a row you win, and his uh, arm is getting further pushed. Uh, you've now gone past, you've, you went to neutral, and then you went back, so you're now in the lead on this thing. He's also <laughs> looking a lot worse. Like, you can see that the, um, the forearm that he's using to grip your, like, the muscles, the fucking rope that's wrapped around that forearm is starting to split and f uh, 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 and tear just from the expansion of the muscle. I look over at all the skeletons and I say, <laughs> nice body count, but even my grandpa could do better! <laughs> <laughs> These come searching for the Black Rose. 
they die before ever getting the chance. <laughs> I haven't died, so there's no proof that I can. The Black Rose is right here. <laughs> Yug. <laughs> the helm. Well, I think we've learned what this podcast is without Shay. <laughs> We're learning right now. Roll, roll deception again. Roll deception, Chip. Holy shit, 22. All right, Gillian, contested athletics. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That is another 30! The helm, the <laughs> helm, the helm, the helm. Okay, you push him far <laughs> enough. And it's not quite hitting the side of the barrel to where he is lost. He's holding in. And uh, uh, any more force, and on, honestly, like, the whole barrel is going to fucking shatter. Uh, but you're one away, busily. I mean, chip... You doing anything else? Chip, I need you to say the most real impactful shit right now. This is the final stretch and it can all go south. You can do it, Chip. Do it. I, I get up so close. Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm not letting you roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I set him up for failure. Um, I roll. Okay, I roll athletics with advantage. Here we go. Here we go. Nice! Okay, what did you roll? 29. Did you think taking my life would be that easy? Uh, and you feel your hands start to lift up very slowly. You take 24 points of damage. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Show the power of your will. I read. I'll do you one better. I'll show you the power of my gill. And a second hand grabs on. A second hand to the arm wrestle. Doppelgillian. <laughs> <laughs> you versus me, Barrel Boy, and this side is all me. But there's dos. I read. <laughs> Dude, this podcast is fucking deranged it without is. I've, I've been gone for like less than 30 minutes in game time. Roll, 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 roll. Okay, 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 okay. It's my destiny, it's my destiny, it's my destiny. No, I rolled a natural one and a four. Do I get any sort of advantage for having Doppelgillian or is that totally just stupid fucking flavor? What's the total? What's the total? The total somehow is a 16. Roll again. Do we tie? Yes. Holy fuck, 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 holy fuck! He actually brought you back to neutral at that one point. You get the sense that, like, if you lose two more times, you're probably dead. <laughs> ah, 22, 22, 22, 22! You're starting to lose. You take 23 points of damage. Chip, what are you 23 doing? 23 points of- Hey, Chip, I don't mean to put a timer on this, but I've got exactly one more of those left in me! Trey, I got one more idea. Really? Because you've just been running around his face in circles the entire time. I thought it would work. I thought I could speak to him on a primal level. Guys, we need Jay. <laughs> Dre, get your face right here, okay? Put your face right here. And I turn into Arlen. Now what? Is there something you guys, like, used to say often to each other? Maybe we can, like, talk to each other as if we're... Jog his memory a little bit. He didn't really use to talk much. But he would listen. What would you say to Arlen normally? Um... Uh... Pick an argument. We can reenact it. Hey, Dre, try this... Hot dog. No, you sound nothing fucking like him. One time, Dre's gun was full of hot sauce instead of bullets. <laughs> that wasn't very cool. You, you fucking bastard. You keep putting hot sauce in my goddamn gun. Well, what are you going to put in there, bullets? <laughs> Come here. I'm what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> okay, uh, instead of deception, roll performance. Oh, are you serious? Purely because it's a reenactment. Dude, you need to get that camera out of your pores <laughs> ASAP. And at this moment, we won. And at that moment, <gasps> the whip tie dice. Eleven. Eleven. But. Eleven. But if we were to add some numbers to it, perhaps <laughs> thirteen. <laughs> because you rolled a twenty-four. We would get a twenty-four in that case. I rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> I died today. I actually died today. I actually died today. I cast death ward on myself. Chip, you and you uh. You and Dre both see Jug uh, actually look at you uh, for once in this entire excursion, this whole encounter. Uh, Gillian, go ahead and roll Contested Athletics. Here we go! Mamma mia, here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. My, 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 my how, how could I resist ya? Ooh. Ooh! Roll that d4. 27. It is this constant and continuous 
struggle, uh, battle for dominance, if you will. And no, um, I won't, I won't. And within that moment, right as you feel like he is going to uh, uh, push your arm into the into the barrel, you dude, don't do this. You got to stay on top, just like Grand Peepaw. How do you how do you stay on top like people? I don't know why he put that in my brain to say that. How do you <laughs> win the arm wrestle? And are you going to kill Jug? <laughs> I remember the best contests of dominance are never fought dry. Oh. And then, and then, a geyser eruption of water as I lubricate and his elbow slips just a little. And it's all I need to take the opening, to take the opening and pages and pages and chapters and chapters of exactly what to do flash through my mind. <laughs> and I dominate him and kill him instantly. <laughs> no! <laughs> You slam the arm so hard, the fucking rope around the form all snaps and, and, and explodes off of it, and the barrel underneath just shatters, and there was like f it's like full of some fucking liquid, and it just goes everywhere. And what's the sandbar? Um, and his arm fucking snaps off to the left, and then dangles at his side, uh, and then he drops to his knees in front of you, and the aura of black flame around him begins to shrink uh, and reveal the background behind it. Do you have any final words? Yeah, it looks up at you, all of you. Yeah. I tried. Well. <laughs> Dies, no. <laughs> no, he says that. Well. <clears throat> I tried to find them, but the door will not open for me. You may pass. And then he just stands frozen uh, on his knees. May like, may you find peace. And may I offer my final words as well. 360 spin kick. <laughs> <laughs> spin kick his head off. Jug did not deserve this. Dude, In no way. I, I, don't, I don't know this guy. I don't know. <laughs> This guy just gave me like the greatest battle of my life and I'm about to give her an honorable death because that's what I think is right. I have no fucking idea who this guy is, dude. All I know is that you jumped onto his head and went pirate, pirate, pirate for like <laughs> 10 minutes. I have no fucking idea. I have no clue who this is. Okay, you can definitely 360 spin, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. I just wanted to part one final piece of information that you would get from being this close to him. Not a hollowed. <laughs> and and not, a, not at all. He's not a hollowed. What? He's alive. <laughs> and that much and that much is so clear whenever the aura dissipates. Oh my god, it's him! I actually just spit took so fucking hard. I never thought I'd see him again. No! Maybe I should have said that like early. Kill him, what the fuck? I'm too late, I already said it! Chip, the next thing you see after a flash of like lightning, uh, is that there is just the turtle shell and then the headpiece. Uh, the, of the shark, the giant shark just like falls over and then drifts onto the ground and then there's just like that like little section of uh, of the turtle shell that's empty. I, I, he, Both Chip and Dre are stunned. I guess that was a pretty <laughs> impressive display of strength. He wasn't a... Hmm? <laughs> oh. Uh. And then his head, his head pops up from underneath the uh, turtle shell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, thank goodness I took the 360 to wind up. Wow, I was gonna need to live with that forever. Okay, all right, thank you. I think you kind of won this now, and I pick up the shark thing, hand it to Gillian. I look at arm wrestled guy. Can I keep this? You won it, fair and square. Okay. I put on the shark head. I look crazy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. So. I hope this next challenge, um... I'll do the no, next like, one. No I'll hard feelings, one. but... Okay, don't, no matter what. No matter what it is. Yeah, you did this one, I got the next one. You feel the pull of the compass. Is it like a pull it out kind of thing, or like I know where to go kind of thing? Like a pull like a pull it out kind of thing, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll pull it out. I've read about this. In front of everybody. Yeah, all right, you pull it out. I think we're at a point. I think we're at a point where I could just do it. You flip it open, um, and it's pointing to past Chug, and he doesn't continue to move... Uh, he just kind of rests there, and he's still, and you guys can move past him. Hey, Jug. You want a ship? Mm. I'll just point to it. Yeah, lumbers up onto his feet, 
with the one arm dangling and begins to head towards your ship, but he doesn't use the rowboat that you guys are leaving behind. Mm -hmm. He just swims through the Black Sea. You can see the shell on the top of the water. Goes up onto the ship. When he moves out of the way and the aura dissipates, you see that you guys are on the very outside of this island that is sort of almost crescent moon shaped in the sense that it like wraps around a body of water and at the very tips where the the edges of the island would touch that's where you guys are and it doesn't touch it's like an entrance and you see in the distance there are it looks like almost like it would have been like a paradise of some sort there's like docks there's also like huts and uh etc that have just been like collapsed in on themselves and and whatnot um nothing that like screams there's like life here you do see that these bodies of like pirates and stuff continue on and it's a mix it's like sailors pirates um maybe some soldiers it doesn't really matter but the point is is that there's a bunch of people that came here and then like didn't survive do you guys mind if we just take a quick um yeah quick, that's cool. good stop yeah thanks. So he's taking the ship did we get all the gold off of the ship or the treasure oh yeah i got it off a while ago I'll take a short rest. You got it off like you put it somewhere safe? Um, Why am I asking you this? <laughs> Standing here at the edges of the entrance to the body of water this island surrounds, best way to describe it, the compass begins to, uh, as you are sitting and kind of resting after that, the compass begins to spin slowly at first, around and around, and then it quickly... <laughs> And as it does, you hear the movement of water. Holy shit. Gillian, look at this. Have you ever seen anything stranger, stranger things than this? Stranger Um, things? No, I'm not caught up. (laughs) But, uh, wait, so like, it's like the compass is making us like a water sound? The compass is moving and all around you, you begin to hear the sound of water rushing and moving. It's really muffled at first. I think the compass is opening it. In the center of this lake, we'll put it like that. You watch mimicking the compass, the water itself begins to swirl. I hold it out heroically. Before you know it, uh, you are standing, both of you, staring at a huge whirlpool. Is that it? Is that the hole? Yeah. I don't remember being here whenever uh, it happened. You see there's a sign nearby that just says uh, the Kamagoon, but part of it's broken, and then on parentheses it says come again. Um... And as the wind begins to kick up, the sign just like breaks off and then flies off. Uh, it is like, ber- it's almost berating in the sense of how powerful the storm is brewing in front of you. So it's super loud. You sure you're ready for this? I think we all know what comes next. No. But are we ever ready? Send it on three. One. Two. Three. Go. Uh, the four of you jump into this whirlpool and as soon as your feet hit the water you are taken by it uh you are lost within its power uh and you begin to spiral in this dark sea your vision is black uh and 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 your senses are completely overwhelmed as you feel yourself moving through a space that you don't know where it leads and the feeling is so such a torrent of power that eventually that disturbance of like the equilibrium where you're being tossed and turned over and over and flipped around uh and and blinded by the darkness it becomes numb and for a moment you guys feel nothing at all the next thing the two of you are looking at is a endless ceiling of black with these like glittering stars and when you sit up you look behind you and you don't see the other two. Oh no. Uh, did they jump into a different whirlpool? Uh, there's only one. But you see each other. You wake up at the same time. And you're surrounded by this corridor of like stone. Is any of this familiar to you? I never went down, Gillian. You're sure, right? Like you never went down? I mean, I think so. I just have to wonder. I guess if Dre doesn't remember. Maybe I wouldn't. Well, if you happen to receive some sort of life-saving clarity at some moment, let me know. Wouldn't I remember, like, being tied to the mast of the ship and just, like, being stuck there? If you remember that, then that's what you remember. That's that's certainly a red flag. Um, 
You want to lead the way, or do you want me to? Side by side. Same time. We go wide. No, no fucking order. Shoulder to fucking shoulder. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. They can't stop both of us. They could. They really Probably like pretty, so I'm weak. easily could. I'm weak. Did you can't lose? Move my, can't move my did own. you like how? Together, are you feeling right now? Like if you had to give me a percentage, I would say if how many like, gilowatts out of one hundred and thirty-two percent, ninety-two gilowatts. Ninety-two gilowatts. Ninety-two gilowatts. Could but you know power what? Power a small city. You, you know what? I build a little charge in my hand. I build a little charge. I'm gonna use twenty-nine just in case. Actually, twenty-eight just in case. Uh, points of lay on hands on myself real quick as I re gilowatt. A real charge. You should do the death ward thing too. I g yeah, I guess. I, I guess. guess. No, you're right. Here, I'll use the helping hands. I, th I think they might break right with the way it works, but I'm gonna use one of the charges of the helping hands to death ward chip as well as me. Okay, how long does it last? Like eight hours. The helping hands still work, but they have one less charge. Okay. So you guys use the like parts of this wall made of like uneven stone and white brick. Uh, you use the parts that are, like, sticking out to help yourself get up. S the sounds of, like, a very quiet ocean are muffled above you in that endless void of the ceiling. And down this narrow corridor, one instance is just darkness, while the other is, like, a dim light in the distance. You also see a body at the end of the corridor. Not the at the end, but a little bit down the ways towards the light. Oh, shit. And as you guys begin to head towards it, the corridor is so narrow at first that you can't be shoulder to shoulder, but it begins to widen. And you find uh, Griffin slumped over, asleep on the ground. And uh, when you get to him, he begins to groggily stand up and, and wake up. <sighs> what the fuck was that? Whatever it is, it brought us here. Did you see anything? As we sank. Just black. Just black. But I've got a feeling we're going to see a whole lot more. Yeah. What did, what did you see? A familiar face. One of my family. Oh, man. This place could be trying to play tricks on us. Where's Dre? You're all we've found so far. Right. I need the way, Captains. Nuh uh. Shoulder to shoulder. All three. All three. Uh, shoulder to shoulder. You guys head down, and eventually you come to a gigantic door uh, that is open. And it leads into this endless space of black sand fuck do i recognize it you do oh i think he would have seen it yeah never mind i got fucking yeeted into this shit by you dude you recognize it you also recognize the sort of the symbols on the door that you pass as you walk it is almost like a mural there's elements of the sun and the moon on both sides somebody opened this door before you is there any sort of information communicated in the mural, or is it just kind of like a sun and a moon? A moon? Just kind of like the sun and the moon. Okay. Okay. One side of the door is the sun, etc. And when they close, the sun and the moon come together. Just like the Black Sea, there is almost no movement here when you step in. There's no air, or at least no distinct smell. You again recognize those massive structures of archaic buildings that are like leaning uh, and tilted as if they're like falling, but they don't. They never fall. From this door ahead, there is a very narrow strip of water, like a river, but it's not running in any direction. And Chip, you pull out the compass, uh, you still have it in your hand at this point, and it's not spinning. It's pointing a direction. And the second that your boots hit the black sand, uh, I need uh, Condi and Charlie to deafen. Dude. Oh, good luck, Chiba. <laughs> Once your boot hits the sand, pull out the compass, you see it's pointing you somewhere. You are going to follow it, you feel. Or you should. You hear in your mind, all around you, whispering. Once you walk through that doorway, you hear. Hey, this place ain't so bad. What was that? Oh, I just said it's not so bad. It's like weirdly calm, even. Yeah, it's. It's fine. You okay? 
I just, I thought I heard something. Maybe you did. Maybe it's Trey. I don't think so. Let's just, let's just keep moving. Stay close, okay? Mm. I think you're right. This place is going to try and mess with you. Yeah, I'm just trying to log it out. Do what we need to do here. We're here with you. Shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. I'd probably start calling out for Dre. Your voice carries endlessly. You guys begin the trek to places unknown. And that's where we end the session. Oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> oh, no. Shit. You're going to put me on that cliffhanger for six fucking months? Fuck you. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. What will happen with Jay and Lizzie? Will Chibo and Gillian survive the hole in the sea? Find out when Riptide returns. Will Grand Peepaw go on another sexual conquest in Canela? And will Grizzly write surprisingly competent fanfiction about it? <laughs> There's only one place to find it all, and it's on Just Roll With It. Whoa! All right, all you crusty little creatures, it is time to shout out all the $50 high roller patrons over at patreon.com slash just roll with it. Let's get a big old shout out to Al Major, Type 2 Tiabetes, Kingdom Games, God Nix, Jada Graf, Hayes Roper, GB's Child, Semi, 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 Colin, Deja Vu, Kepsu Bao, Jerwy Hater, why are you here then? Je Zephyrs, Zephyr Nova, Stinky Man, High in Potassium, Wildstar00, Zero Zero, Stum Yums, That One Furry, I'm Just a Burb, Cranky Martin, Goose, Ryan Jocelyn, Camden Finn, Lightning Deathbringer, Intense. Gurzegors, Berzek, Sin, Sez. Dude, I don't even know. It's just a lot of letters. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> That's not what it says, but uh, thank you. Jesus says, shrimp, heaven, now. It's Albert. William B. Wumbo. Insomnia Draws. Zenith Scythe. Kelly the Raccoon. Agar Steeljaw. Karma Chickage. Limb Muncher. Rowboat the Boat. Mr. Anderson 1078. Me Phobia Man. Aaron Moment. Water Lenny. Alistair Susie, Broderick Motif, Final Fan, Hayes Roper, Faluga, Falu, F Falugish? I feel like I've said this before and now I'm fucking it up. I'm so sorry. Uh, certified Cringe Fail Loser Boy, To Be Determined, The D&D Group, That One Person, Aldrich, EMT3, Emperor Pengu69, Kojo Wo, uh, It's a Fena, Mr. C, Double Gilly Mourner. Uh, double Gilly is still around. Don't mourn Double Gilly. We still got Double Gilly. Uh, and also, we're, I think we're saying Doppel Gilly, like Doppelganger, and not Double Gilly. It's like Doppel Gilly. Do you get what I mean? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, thanks, thank you. Uh, Nova Sink, The Game Hunter, Teeny Ghosts, It's Sea Fresh, Me Forever, Mate, Stoost Dude, Series of Coup, Charlie Darling Songbird, Eclipse 1680 Gaming, The Oval Lord, Aqua, the Kaizaku, microwave with a hat. That shouldn't be up there on that microwave. That microwave shouldn't have a damn hat. What's happening right now? That's crazy. Get, somebody put a hat on my microwave. Holy shit. Bazozo, Quinn Gibson, Ikofu, Katus Betus, Epic Chris, Kalen, Leftover Rice, You'll Rue the Day, Humburger, Titan Storm, Jonathan Bleak, Luke Ranboo, Thomas Pierce, Lemon Leviathan, Beebness, Dapper, Ruth the Banana Duck, Unstable Chaotic Cracker, Brand Nyon, Bree Lee, Daxi Boy, Vapor, Okerberos, Colin the Bard, Fluful Boo, I'm Butt Flusting, Beans, Pupper in a Space Suit, Crib Win, Wolfie, Jade, J Aids, 2604, Pippin the Paladin, Tane, Lambert the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baka 7, Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, F Bomb 02, F Bomb? You can't say that. Uh, Amber Curry, Robert Gangwer. I don't know why I just did that. I'm sorry. Uh, Jillian Vibestrider. Damn, what a vibe. Man Made Imp. Magu. Jordan Darlin. I am in your walls. Abby, Katie, and Elliot. Sam and Ducky. Sahara Lester. Mr. Nacho. Wild James. Sammy Bo the Second. Kev Senpai. 
Tingus Bingus, Finrua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette and crew, Narwhal Shellfish, Derpy Tricks, Geekly Legend, Robins, Zero Codex, Deathclaw, Sandy007, William Smith, Apple, Soul of a Pep, Big Man Christian, Blue Blend Blop, Big Blue Bear Boy, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Obligatory References, Cryosonis Sin, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Jacob Martinez, Carby Wafro, Silv Soul, Bionicle DD, Jason the Fricker, Anko, Unoya Loon, Gillian's Biggest Fan, The Godly King, Cornier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Charm of the Bard, Riker Kirotu. I still love that name so much. It's one of my favorites. Uh, not to pick favorites, but that is my favorite. Kitsune, Nonslottle, Asteria Nix. George Benji, Victory, Bep, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, Divinator, and Jay Newell. And listen, guys, I know we are going on a little bit of a break right now, but don't worry, we'll be back before you know it. And we haven't concretely decided, but I figure I'll give you a little tease. We might be working on something really cool, and it might be run by Bebo. Bebo might run it, and we might play it just so that Grizzly has a bunch of time to write Riptide. I've got a cool little campaign that I'm writing up. And if we don't play it for, like, a public thing, then it'll probably be my next Patreon campaign. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But it will be very cool. It will be steampunk themed, and there will be like an underground city, and there will be like a whole bunch of stuff and things, and you will like it, and it will be awesome. At least I hope you will. I think it's really good that we're taking a break. Having a break to write Prime Defenders was probably the most helpful thing I could have had to to make it a story I was super proud of and I'm really glad that uh, Grizzly is the time to take a step back and write a little more and I'm so excited for where the story is headed from here and so I know you're probably sad you're not going to see your favorite little squishies for a few months but I promise you it is so worth it both for the story's sake and for his fucking mental health so I better see nothing but support from my boy or I'm coming around I'm coming for you and I'm coming with the heat Anyways, thank you so much for supporting us. Goodbye.